Hello, Quantum Warriors. Mel, live for our fifth day, our grand finale. And I'm a little bit excited and a little bit nervous, which is kind of weird. But anyway, I'm going to wait for you guys to come in. It's a big day today. It's uh, a little bittersweet. But I want you to know that it's just been such a pleasure working with you guys on this uh, challenge. It's just been absolutely incredible. And people are coming in. I'm going to have a sip of my tea, which I always do as I wait for you guys to come in. And I know a lot of you have been really looking forward to this. Kate, lovely to see you. Lovely to see all of you beautiful, incredible people. And today's going to be a really big day that I'm very excited about. I just want to say I've been in absolute awe of your growth and many of you have had incredible breakthroughs with your speedy shifts and witnessing what this has meant in your life has been such a joy. And I'm seeing you accelerate into fully blown shining, which has just been fantastic. And it hasn't surprised me that much, actually, because I've seen in MTE in the last little while, probably month and a bit, more acceleration than I ever have in the 17 years that I've been in this incredible community. I know that we're in a grand ascension period and this is really perfect for these times because we're in global rapid changes and I know that your soul was born for this time and that you're rising up to the challenge. And speaking of challenges, we're going to go over some housekeeping together before we do today's lesson for the for the speedy shift i've got to be very careful how i say that <laughs> for the speedy shift five day challenge competition to win one of the three prizes which is a first prize certificate and a one-on-one -on -one quantum freedom healing session with me which is valued at $995 USD. The three first prizes will be concluded and announced on or before the 18th of December as the first first prize is Sources Award, which is going to be drawn from all the competition registered people. We're going to have the Greatest Achievement Award, which is the person who's had the greatest breakthrough results. And we're going to have the Greatest Effort Award, which I'm going to be choosing from the people who've put in a lot of effort and really deserve the support of a healing with me. So I'm excited about that because everybody has got a chance to win. And please know, even if you've come onto this live or you're going to be watching this recording, and you haven't even started being connected to the five-day challenge and even up to 10 days after this, you've still got a chance to win one of those healings by getting involved at the last minute. But to be eligible, you have to be a Speedy Shifts program member. You have to be working with Speedy Shifts. You need to have posted a comment on every one of the five days. And that could be on Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, or here on my blog. So we'll be checking you out to make sure you've got a comment there. And you're going to need to email in to support at melanietoniaevans.com for your registration form. Now, in as far as your comments on each of the uh, each of the days, after this, I'm going to put up links 
on the blog to each of the days. So it's going to be really easy for you to find and put a comment on the blog. Okay. If you're only just coming into these lives and this competition now, everything will be there for you. Now, what I want you to do, because I want us to get this out of the way now. To get your registration form, all you have to do is send an email to support at melanietoniaevans.com. I've got it in the uh, description above with this live. It's very easy. And right in the subject line, registration for the Speedy Shifts Challenge. Registration for the Speedy Shifts Challenge. Just write that down now. That's what you're going to put in the subject line and you will receive your email back with your attachment of what you need to do to register. Very, very simple. And then you can tick that off your to-do list. So you're going to do that today. You can either do it right now or do it after this live And then you go and go fill it in. You've got 10 days. You're going to send it back to support at melanietoniaevans.com. Within 10 days time and you are all registered. So that's going to be really, really easy for you. Okay. How about we get into this? very excited about today and what you're going to learn because this is big so we're going to start off by talking about how freedom from obsessing unleashes creative energy in day four we talked about how addictions cause obsession and they keep you stuck in self-sabotaging loops and we talked about how to break free from that. And after you do that, so much of your energy field that was stuck in survival, trying to endure your, tra your traumas that get wedged in there through the addiction obsession loop, that energy gets freed up for pure creation. And this becomes very exciting and exactly the point where you start to inner stand and move towards who are you being in the world and what are you here to do? Today, we're going to lean into your soul mission seriously because up to now, when you're caught in obsession and survival, you probably haven't had enough free energy to allow in, to connect to, and to flow into your true soul vocation, your mission. I want you to feel into the following. How much power Will you, ha will you have to actually create without obsessing? How much power do you think you'd have? Feel into that with your body open and breathing. And of course, this is as long as you are no longer in the fear about being yourself which usually, of course, requires tweaking. Like we have to work at that, the fear of being ourselves. And interestingly enough, I love how the universe works because I don't plan it. I don't, I don't plan much. I just follow what comes through me and what I'm told to do. But this week coming up and shifts happen, We've actually got the session, Free to Be Me. Couldn't be better timing. But now that you've been freed up for creative energy to arise from within you, here it is, beautiful quantum warriors. 
You can't hide anymore and make excuses, which you were able to do while you're obsessing and battling that. So what we're going to do is we're going to start anchoring in some soul truths. So let's do our first exercise together. So what I want you to do, I want you to just do what we always do. Just breathe and relax. Open your body. Allow there to be some space inside of yourself. And we're going to be super present, which means ignoring your thoughts. Like an annoying person in the room, you just ignore it. And you just breathe and open and be here and now. That's super present. And we're going to say this following empowering statement together. And you can write this down. I know my soul. wishes to illuminate my purpose in this lifetime. Full stop. I inner stand that connecting to and actualizing this mission would truly fulfill me. Let me read that back. I know my soul wishes to illuminate my purpose in this lifetime. Full stop. I inner stand that connecting to and actualizing this mission would truly fulfill me. Now let's just repeat that a few times. Say it to yourself. Breathe it in. Have your body open. I know my soul wishes to illuminate my purpose in this lifetime. I understand that connecting to and actualizing this mission would truly fulfill me. How does that feel? Does it feel exciting? Scary? Not possible? Really viable? Are you already connecting to and expressing your soul mission? Let me know how that feels in the comments. Some beautiful comments there. Now that you're releasing obsession and you're starting to feel and be your true self, this brings a whole other level of soul responsibility. If you wish to connect to the life that is going to fulfill you like no other. What are my unique contributions to this planet and how will I bring them into being? That's soul responsibility. 
Now this I promise you, this is the great news. There is no lack of you having the capacity or the ability. There is no lack of source supplying you with what you were born to do. And there is no lack of why you are here on this planet for this time. Source and your soul did not get this wrong. There are no limits, such as your age, your capabilities or your credentials. Because we source God creation, all things are possible. It's only you who is in the way. Who do you want to be in the world? At a deep heart and soul level, I know that you want to express your soul passions and missions because really everybody wants to. This journey, it's personal and everybody's soul missions and passions are unique to them. And maybe your mission is to be a support person to someone else, such as your child. And that's authentic for you. Maybe your mission and passions are simple. Quite possibly, however, because you're in this community and you're doing the inner work at this quantum level, quite possibly your mission is like mine, to make a difference in the world and be a public person in some shape or form. That wouldn't surprise me at all. And a big clue is often we teach what we most need to learn. That's why we've been through the journey we have. Now, please know I'm not going to grant you what your individual soul mission is today because that would take me tuning into your individual self and other things. But please hang around until the end of this talk if you would like more information about that specifically. Instead, today, what I'm going to do is help you connect to your source, soul, self-mission and clear the blocks for you to flow into your soul mission if that's what you choose to do. One thing is for certain, connecting to your soul mission will set you alight. And everything that has happened previously in your life is going to make perfect sense because it was all to set you up for this and if not engaging with your soul's mission maybe there's going to feel like there's always something missing the good news is the additional good news everything is set up within your cellular code of truth and the light codes that you are receiving from source, which are now more powerful than they have ever been, to activate your personal soul mission. I know that with every ounce of my heart. There is no greater time right now in our world with our old third density systems that are crumbling for you to be a part of the new system that is emerging in rapid fire time of bringing your soul mission into existence right here, right now. Our new emerging world needs this, welcomes it and provides a huge audience wanting your unique contributions. Despite how it all looks, we are in one of the most exciting times to be alive. 
However, I know personally for you, as it has been for humanity, there can be huge programming blocks in the way of you connecting to and expressing your soul mission. So let's have a look at these. We're going to unpack some of the inner programs that have been stopping you from being your true vocation. These include painful beliefs such as that old chestnut, I'm just not good enough. I don't have enough experience, information, credentials. I feel like an imposter. Other people know more than what I do. I can't make money from doing what I love. I need to get a real job instead. What if I fail and I can't survive? What if nobody wants what I'm offering? What will other people think if I pursue that as a career? Are they going to think I'm a whack job? Boy, do I remember going through that. If I do that, whatever that is, I'll be a target. I'll be torn down. I could go on and on and on and on about all of these inner programs that could be blocking you. Do you relate to any of the ones that I've just said? Because they're pretty common. Please know that all of your blocks and limiting beliefs are not real, even though they seem like they are. Honestly, only you have these barriers. Your source, soul, self doesn't. Rather, your source, soul, self is barracking, barracking, cheering you on to start flowing forward into your true soul's mission with abundant support and success. And also please accept that source, God creation, never wants to punish you or have you go without and not be blessed. Those old programmed martyr beliefs were always false premises, especially now. We're in the era of fifth density consciousness now, unity consciousness, which is plenty more than enough and thriving for everybody. You are supposed to glow, shine and be amply flourished and nourished in your soul's mission. It's win-win. You get blessed and rewarded inside and outside and filled with an abundance of light and gratitude, which translates into an authentic and energetic outpouring, which opens the gates for receiving your truest desires and rewards. But, and this is a big but, this is key, only if you get out of your head and connect to the flow of your unfolding and allow source to be large and in charge, which is your highest self, which is your divine mind. And only if you don't need rewards in order to be whole. The joy and the outpouring has to be about beingness, beingness, not gettingness. And then the gettingness will look after itself. And of course, your ego doesn't like this because you have been programmed to not do what 
your source and soul wants you to do. You've been programmed to be disconnected from it. But now it's time for you to take your power back and turn all of this around. So let's get go deeper on this, shall we? We're going to look at shifting away from the outside is my security. You've been programmed not to follow your soul's true calling, often because of the perceived limitations of security. Is a boss your security? No. Is a particular big corporation job your security? No. Is a partner or a family member your security? Not at all. Is the economic permutations, probabilities or location your security? No. What is your security? The answer is your soul source connection. The inside out, inside out job that is connecting you to the channeling and the inspiration of your greatest contributions, which is what your soul came here to do. And everything, the connection to everything that is set up in the field, which is the outer universe connected to your inner universe in oneness, to make it happen. Let's do our next exercise together. We're going to do another empowering statement together. And I want you to open and breathe so that you can receive it as a transmission. Okay, so write this down. I know source and my soul are my security. I am guided, supported, and provided for in all ways, always. Let's do it again. I know source and my soul are my security. I am guided, supported and provided for in all ways, always. Now breathe, open your body, repeat this to yourself and let it soak into your cells because it is the absolute truth. How does that statement feel in your cells? This truth ignites you. It's true. Okay, good. Now, this is the absolute truth unless you get in the way of this. Now, let's investigate how that happens because you need to understand that a truth is a truth, but you're only living that truth if your beingness is aligned with it. Otherwise, you're living out of integrity, which is traumatic and painful and survival instead of creation. Okay, so how do we live outside of this truth? By attachment to your will instead of allowing divine will. 
disconnection from your source self where your greatest heart and soul desires are at one and totally in agreement with source happens via your own thoughts. Namely, you make it about my will, not divine will. Your logical mind is not divine will, neither is mine, because it doesn't have access to the unlimited permutations in the field, which is all it is, to line you up with the right meeting, the right advice, the right signal, the right calling card, the right synchronistic event that is going to deliver you to the miracle of your true work. Your logical mind can't do that. If you aren't surrendered, allowing and getting yourself out of the way, you're trying to control things and you won't see, hear or be in the right place at the right time. You could be so attached to it being my way that the next step could literally fall on top of your head and you will not recognize it. And I see this happening with people all the time. I love this story about a man and he's caught in floodwaters who decided God will save me. And in his mind, he believed that being saved with God would be some huge event. You know, like the parting of the Red Seas or something. So anyway, a rowing boat pulls up alongside him and he says to the guy in the boat, thanks, but no thanks, God's coming to save me. And a short time after, he turned down an offer of help from a larger boat, believing this wasn't God either. The waters kept rising further and they were getting more aggressive and a helicopter flies over the top of him, ready to drop a ladder down. And he again refused the help because he believed it was not magnificent enough to be God. So as he was drowning, he screamed out, God, why have you forsaken me? And a voice called back. I sent you a rowboat, a cabin, cru cabin cruiser and a helicopter. What more did you want? This is a powerful story. It's a recognition that God source creation is everywhere. If you're humble enough to be open to that higher power. So for example, your rowboat could be a simple job that's needed right now to pay your bills, working in a corner store that you got offered. And then as you're working in the corner store and you're loving interaction, you're being of service and you're in heart space, you meet a customer who offers you the next step to your mission after a conversation you have with them. Allow me to let you in on a little secret as to how the universe works. If you follow your heart humbly, without analysis, and you move forward into what feels good, and you have gratitude for it without judgment, the universe will meet you exactly where you are and start rearranging things to further flourish, nourish and expand you, which is also about your soul mission. God, source, creation helps those who help themselves. You are helping you yourself if you move forward into the now with what helps you because it feels right. And I'm not talking like, you know, a desperate like you get an offer of help from an abuser and it feels wrong and you're desperate. I'm not talking about that. It's got to be wholesome. But it's humble. So Source God Creation says, beautiful, you're humble. You're in heart space. 
You're grateful for this opportunity. You're open. You're flowing with your inner cues. So now I can set up the next step for your expansion. This is so important to understand. If you wait and you don't get on the rowboat because you're totally attached to, it's got to be a luxury ship, a piano cruiser with all of the restaurants on the upstairs bar and the swimming pool. You are completely missing the point and you're going to stagnate, you're going to get depressed, you're going to feel like a victim who can't manifest what you want and ultimately you're going to end up drowning. And you may have the belief, if I make a lesser choice then I'll miss the real thing when it comes. Like the drowning man waiting for God to show up. Think about this. How can God source creation not show up when God is everywhere and in everything? And of course, if you started getting a job in a corner store because you needed to pay bills, you can move on at any time if it doesn't feel right for you. You can always pivot. Let's have a look at exercise three. And we're going to do, is this making sense? Beautiful quantum warriors, is this making sense? How does this feel, thinking about this in this way? To open and flow and be humble. This is where I see so many people stuck because they lost so much and decided that it has to be that and they're stuck for years. This is so much more beautiful and it works. So exercise three, we're going to do our next empowering statement together. And again, we're going to open and breathe so we can receive it as a transmission. It is gorgeous, Denise. It's so beautiful. It's so nourishing. Okay, and more comes and more and more. It's just gorgeous. Okay, so this is a statement. I trust my heart and move towards, write it down, what feels supportive for me now. So it was, I trust my heart and move towards what feels supportive for me now. At a heart level, not a head level, heart level. Life, source and my soul can pivot, rearrange, and make everything and anything happen from anywhere at any time. That's exciting when you understand that. That happens in my life all the time, all the time. Moving forward means I am out in life, free to receive my soul's Blessings. Let's go through it again. I trust my heart 
and move towards what feels supportive for me now. Life, source and my soul can pivot, rearrange and make everything and anything happen from anywhere at any time. Moving forward means I am out in life free to receive my soul's blessings. Now open and breathe and read it to yourself a few times. Let this soak into yourselves as in a standing. How does it feel? I promise you my whole life works like this. This is how life really works when you're aligned because you have access to everything instead of just the monkey mind trying to control an outcome, which doesn't end up good. And especially now when third density reality is crumbling, it doesn't actually work at all anymore. We have to go this way. So how do you align and move towards your soul mission? Well, first of all, you've got to sign up for your soul mission with all of your heart. And I'm going to show you how to do that with Speedy Shifts. Because then, after doing that, you get out of the way, you trust your heart, you flow forward, you keep clearing out the fears that come up to keep moving forward, and you're met in the field of life with the opportunities, synchronicities, and support that your soul and your higher dimensional guides are trying so hard to bring into reality for you. They want you to succeed. And you trust and follow your intuition. Whatever feels inspiring and exciting is it. If you don't get into your head and start analysing it. what lights you up from the inside as an urge to do something. These are the times when God's source creation is moving through you as you and saying hi. These times don't have to make sense. In fact, it's better if they don't make sense. You will be doing whatever you're doing because it feels right. It feels invigorating. It sets your heart on fire. Do you know what's going to happen as a result of you being that energy at that time? Of course you can't know. You're not meant to know. And if you try to know, you're going to mess it up. Don't be attached to needing to know any of your outcomes. So key. I have no idea why I do what I do and when I do it. I don't. I don't even think about why. I just show up and follow. I love what Louise Hay said when they asked her, how did you build the Hay House Empire? She said, I answered the phone and I opened the mail. In other words, she wasn't in her head. She was in the moment showing up in service to her calling. 
my own business, this business, started with me not starting a business. One night, I had a powerful desire to write articles about narcissism and narcissistic abuse. I wrote six that night. I was channeling them. I sat up all night writing and I was so excited about it. Everything was buzzing. I couldn't even sleep. And the next day, somebody suggested to me that they could be posted on the internet. Then an avalanche of contact came. I thought I was just sharing thoughts. But my business started that very day. I want to talk about your value and your soul contributions. Please know this. Source wants you to be God, Godding. Or source sourcing. All that is wants to work through you as itself to bring life force and expansion and thriving and plenty and flourishing and nourishing. You're the vehicle through which this happens. To make a difference. And Source wants you doing this not just for a moment, durably. And do you really think that that would be possible if you were broken and your car and your house and your health were all crumbling around you? This is why it is so ridiculous and it needs total cleaning up quantumly when people have the belief, I can't do spiritual work or what I love and charge for it. You were born for this time to come to earth in this ascension period, make a difference and prosper as well. Have you ever noticed in your life, the more you give away of yourself and your energy for free, without limits and boundaries and without valuing yourself, that other people don't value you or even what you grant to them? If you value yourself and your contributions, you're going to bring incredible value and thriving to others and the world. Make sense? It's true. And over the years, I've seen so many healers and people who contribute who their own lives are breaking down and they're not even a thriving example to others. Why would people even believe, you know, pick up what they're laying down? It doesn't work. So shifting into your true soul's mission Okay, so can you start to sense and feel the inner work that you're going to need to do? To trust, to flow, to listen, to follow. And know that source and your soul are your security. There's work to be done on that, isn't there? You've been programmed with layers to not come home to this. Are you ready to let go and deeply unfold and activate yourself? If your answer is yes, then let's get down how to do it. Do you want to know how to do it? The first healing shift on this is the all powerful, my absolute favorite of all quantum freedom healings that I do all the time is module four, speedy shift, source healing and resolution module. Now, some of you over the weeks have been saying, you know, I'm not letting go. I'm not getting in the light. Okay, 
please, and I put up a post about this, please use your tune up one to three modules whenever you're starting to get stuck again. Put your Ferrari in the garage and get it serviced, okay? So that it drives like a Ferrari instead of a four cylinder jalopy that's breaking down. Then you're going to work in module four a lot. So what you're gonna do with this is the first all purpose cleanup with module four, speedy shifts, is you're gonna take any dense energy that you can feel inside of you, the confusion, the fear of stepping into your true soul career. Like whatever, so, you know, when you think about that, right, I'm gonna step into and flow into the creation, the knowing, the ignition of my true soul career, what comes up? Get it into Speedy's number four module. Make sure you're tuned up and start ripping those beliefs out and getting source, which is your true soul vacation in that light code. Get it in. Until you get to a 10 out of 10. And that just means I can't, oh, nothing's triggering anymore. When you get to a 10 out of 10, it doesn't mean that you know what it is. It means that you feel open, you feel at peace, you can't feel dense energy. You're in the moment of now with space and peace because everything comes from that. Okay, that's your 10 out of 10 is the state you go to for ships to come in over smooth waters. Just remember that always with all of your ships. You're going for space and peace and feeling at one. Okay. So that's your all-purpose cleanup that you're going to do. It's pretty simple. Then you're going to use goal set in your speedy course, which is module five, which is my second most favorite go-to. And write this down. And it'll all be on the blog for you as well, all these instructions, which is going up very soon after this, but write it down. This is the goal set only after the source healing and resolution cleanup. Don't ever do goal sets before that cleanup. You know the expression, be careful what you wish for. Okay, you might get it, but a whole heap of breakdowns to clear you to get it properly. Whereas you want to do the midwifing into the breakthroughs energetically before you do the goal set. Does that make sense? Okay, so your goal set, module five speedies, is this. I sign up, accept, and embody. The activation of my true soul mission for this lifetime. So again, I sign up. Accept and embody the activation of my true soul mission for this lifetime. It's pretty simple and it's powerful. So what you're going to do is you're going to clear all of your resistance. Your body's going to throw up all of the resistances to this and you're going to clear them again till you get out of, till you get to a 10 out of 10, which again means I just feel spacious inside. I feel whole. I feel at peace. That space in your cells is so your God source self can enter and you become heaven on earth. It's 
star seeds. That's fifth density. That's what we're doing. Somebody wrote in to support today and they said, can Mel talk about fifth density manifestation? Everything I'm doing is about that. Everything. And you're doing it. It's all about that. Heaven on earth. The way we're meant to be living. Okay. Now you can refine further. So after you've done your source healing and resolution, then you've done your goal set, then let's really land this plane because your soul mission is something you have been massively deprogrammed from in this human condition. And there's reasons for that, which I'll go into on another day. But we're coming home and nothing's going to stop you. Okay, so now we would go back to source healing and resolution for fine tuning cleaning up. So you're going to do a source healing and resolution, which always means I'm cleaning up, I'm resolving that issue. You take issues to source healing and resolution, any issue. So powerful. That's why I love it. Okay, so you're going to take security fears. Like secure, if I go into my mission or my passion or I get started, how am I going to survive? Where's the money going to come from? All of that stuff. Security fears, you're going to put that in module four. Shift until again. Peace, calm. You can't feel the fear in your body anymore. And then you're going to take trying to work it out in my mind because that's a huge barrier. You're going to take trying to, you know, formulate it all in my mind. It's got to go. The mind isn't here anymore to create our life. The beingness, the channel is, the guidance, the the source self, the divine mind is your guidance, not your mind. Your mind is pointing you in the wrong direction. So needing to work it out in my mind has got to go. And then we're going to have not trusting my intuition humbly, right? To just move forward into the next thing that feels right without judging it and saying that's not good enough for me or whatever you've been doing like just not trusting my intuition and being humble put that in clean that up so that you get beautiful pings and guidance and following going on Okay, does this help? And, you know, your individual journey on this is your individual journey. So anything that arises for you, it could be what other people think about me. Are they going to think I'm some crazy whack job if I want to do that? You know, maybe I came from a family of scientists or doctors and they're going to think I'm mental. Whatever it is. Put it in, put it in, clean it up. Because as I've said about four times today, the programming to stop you connecting to your soul path and your mission for this lifetime on this planet has been intense. In fact, you guys know it, don't you? It's a rarity to meet somebody who's actually doing their soul path and soul mission, which is insane. If we were on an evolved planet, which is where we are going, by the way, everybody would be. In fact, it'd be rare not to. And it's the other way around because of the inversion that's happened here. We're fighting back. Enough's enough. I hope I can inspire you. I'm fierce about this. 
that's what I love about Quantum Freedom Healing. And now we've got speedy shifts that make it so fast, direct and powerful. There is no excuse now for us to just go along in this ridiculous false programming. We can break free of this matrix now. And that's the revolution I'm on and I want to take you with me. Come for the ride. All right, so, oh gosh, beautiful people. We are at the end of our Speedy Shifts five-day challenge. It's been my absolute joy to connect with you all in this way. And I want to thank you for giving me a vehicle for this joy. I do have the best job in the world and I am living my soul's mission, but I want all of you to be doing that. It's been so thrilling for me to see how much you've grown in the last few weeks. It's been incredible. You're doing the work. You're doing the soul work. And is there anything more important than this work? Because it means our entire life can start to flow and work and flourish. Without the soul work, it doesn't. We're stuck. So this is, there's nothing more important than this. All right, so, you know, moving forward, we've got, as I said before, we've got um, shifts happen on Sunday, Monday, which is free to be me, which is a beautiful extension from here. If you haven't checked out shifts happen, please do. And you can unsubscribe at any time. You're not locked in. But what's going on there is incredible. It is the soul fifth density evolution that's happening globally. That's what Shifts Happen is about. And it's ongoing. It doesn't stop. As long as I'm vertical and taking breaths, this is not going to stop. Hopefully I'll be like Louise Hayes. I'm still doing this. You know, I think I'll be in my hundreds because I think we're going to live a lot longer than a hundred. I really do. That's where we're going. So now for your registration for the competition, send your email to support, you'll get your registration form and you'll have all of the instructions on that. So make sure you do that today, that you get the form, you'll get the blank form for you to fill in and do everything you need to do to send back to register, but you're going to get your form. Okay. All right. And... You know, I'm so excited about who's going to win the competition with me and I'm sending you incredible quantum blessings for that. It will be the right people. The greatest blessing, however, is the growth that you've just generated for yourself because freedom from the obsessing mind and unlocking your soul and your soul, soul self is like winning Powerball. You actually couldn't give me 10 trillion dollars to go back to life back in the matrix no way ever so you've already won powerball by doing this work because this is how your true life begins and it doesn't matter whether you're 20 30 80 we have thrivers in their 80s that are living their best life. Because as soon as you click into that, it doesn't matter what's happened before. You're in the now and there it is. It's just gorgeous. This is the work you might have known lately, beautiful people who have been just with me recently or you've known me for a long time. Just lately, I've had a massive acceleration in my own journey and my own up-leveling because I'm totally committed to my personal growth. It's my biggest mission in life. It's as important to me as eating food every day. So in my own up-leveling, sources light is more powerful. We have more ability to let go of dense energy. We are absolutely going to fifth density and above. That energy, those light photons, are right here, right now. Our ancient traditions have been talking about this time. It is this time. We're in it now, which is amazing. And I am following my inner voice faithfully. There is nothing more important than me every day showing up to 
actualize as much as I can my soul's calling in this pivotal time for humanity. And I'm very upfront about that. Now, two days ago, one of my divine messages that I received is to reach out and offer you beautiful quantum warriors a free complimentary one-on-one -on -one private appointment with me to do a soul map reading to tell you why you're here and what you're here to do. Now, this is, it's going to be 20 people. This is for people who are passionate about expanding into their soul mission and their potential. Now, I trained and studied in years ago deep karmic numerology, which exposes that soul map, plus I have my voice, which is usually pretty bang on. Those of you who've been in classes with me, you know that happens. Now, in line with this, I've just released my most exclusive Super Thriver course. Some of you have already been in it and some of you have repeated it and some of you never have. What it is, it's a 12-month intimate high-frequency training program for a small amount of intimate people, the most serious people in this community, about bringing your unique gifts to the world as well as wanting to live at your highest potential in love, health and wealth. So it's coaching with me in a group, an intimate group, for 12 months. The most incredible growth that we ever see quantumly is in Super Thrivers. So I'm offering for the first time ever, this is the message I had two days ago, a free complimentary soul map reading plus 10 speedy shifts I'm going to be doing inside your body to align you with your soul truth and mission. It's valued at $525 USD. It'll go for 30 minutes and it's high octave and it's intense and it's powerful. And that's going to be for 20 people. I'm going to do that with 20 separate people, people who are serious soul warriors. It's going to be the first 20 people who come on to 2024 Super Thrive, the 12-month program with me. And it is incredibly affordable. When you see it, you'll understand. Plus, I'm going to give you a 20% discount off the price. So you're going to see it in the description, which is up at the top of this video. Okay, this live, and it'll be on the blog as well. So the code is Super Thrive, Super Thrive in capitals. If you put that in the coupon code, you get a 20% discount. Now, this is for the first 20 people. Now, some spots have already gone. Okay, we've already had people that signed up to Super Thrive. They're getting the discount. They don't know yet. They're also getting the soul map reading. We've only released it to very few people and some of the spaces are already gone. They're going to go really fast because there's an email going out to our Super Thriver people who've done Thrive, who've done Super Thrive. It's going out pretty much straight after this transmission. Okay, so... Have a look at the link above. You can go and have a look at the details. Now, if this is calling you, what will happen is you'll sign up. We'll see it. We'll be sending you an email and we'll get where you are in the world and a time that can work and I'm going to book you in. And, we're going to, and I'm going to get your numerology details. I'm going to go in the background and check out some stuff. Come with you channel and we're going to go kabang. I want to help you with everything I've got. Okay, so that'll all be there. Now, I hope with all of my heart that you have enjoyed this Speedy Shift Challenge as much as I have hosting it. And I just know that with your growth and with our energy combined together and for our world, the best is yet to come. We haven't even got started yet. And I am sending you today much love, profound upshifts. And even if you never take another step forward with me, I hope that everything I've given you in this challenge is going to be life and soul changing 
for you and that you go forth as an agent of light in this world because where there's light, there is no darkness. And we don't need all of us doing this. We just need enough. And you're one of those people. <sighs> and I so look forward to your comments and your questions on the blog. As soon as our blog is released, which is all the transcript of this and all the written details and instructions, etc., I'm going to put up the link here on Facebook for you guys to go to it. And, you know, those of you who want to come and super thrive with me, I can't wait. All right, darling people, I hope this has helped. I adore you more than words can say. And I'll be talking to you soon. All right, darlings, we'll talk soon. Lots of love. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.